This is the Carolina Mantis. Now, a very common misconception about mantises is that there's only one or two species. Well, in fact, there's actually over 4,000 spread all across the world, and not just the one from Kung Fu Panda. The Carolina Mantis in specific is a member of the genus Stagmamantis, or the North American Mantises. And you guessed it, it's from North America. They range between 48 and 60 millimeters, or 1.9 and 2.4 inches for my fellow Americans. However, the females are often much larger than the males are. Like all mantises, they go through several different stages of development, called instars, until they develop their wings and reach maturity. After they molt their exoskeleton, which marks the end of one instar and the beginning of another, they can develop into one of three different colors, which is gray, green, brown, or sometimes a mix of any of those colors. Their role as hunting insects and invertebrates that can often be labeled as pests in agricultural businesses and gardening for hobbies has made them a staple for all natural means of pest control. However, before you use mantises for gardening, be sure you know what you're doing. First of all, mantises cannot discriminate between pests and helpful beneficial pollinators. Additionally, a lot of gardening stores will sell non-native species of mantis eggs, labeling them as just simply mantises for pest control. Remember, with all things you learn, be sure to do your own research and better understand them for yourselves. So to encourage that, I have left all my sources as links down in the description.